Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you how I put together this storage box Happy Mail. So I had wanted to make some storage boxes to hold some craft supplies in my room, and then I had the idea of just stuffing it full of goodies and sending it off to a pen pal. And I really liked how the first time I made it turned out, so I'm going to make one for you guys so you can see how it's done. So what you're going to need is a piece of um, heavy paper cardstock um, that measures eight and a quarter inch by eleven and three quarters inch. I'm using this Heidi Swap paper pad that I got on sale at Joann's. Um, I uh, like to use double-sided paper. This paper was not double-sided, so I just glued two sheets together. And this actually makes the box a bit sturdier because then uh, the paper is thicker and just makes it, you know, more durable. So the first thing you're going to do is decide which is the outside of your box and which is the inside, and then you're going to score on the inside part. So with your paper horizontal, you're going to score at four inches and then again at six inches. Now I'm going over those score marks twice just because the paper is thicker and I want to make sure it reaches to the other side. And once those score lines are in, you're going to flip your paper vertical and you're going to score at one and three eighths of an inch and six and seven eighths of an inch. Now I have to apologize guys because I didn't realize, um, it didn't click in my head that when um, I went to make this, you wouldn't really be able to see the score lines on the striped paper that I used. But once you get your own score lines in, you'll be able to know everything I'm talking about. This box is so easy to make, um, I don't think anyone will have a problem with it. So once you have all of those score lines in, you are done with that part. And next we are just going to fold up along all the score lines that we made. I'm just showing you here the different sections. You'll have two rectangles on both sides and then a very thin rectangular piece in the middle. So now I'm just going to fold up on all of those score lines I made. And I'm just taking my time with this and making sure that I get nice, even, um, clean creases. Since the paper was a bit thicker, um, I just wanted to make sure that everything was even, um, that it didn't try to budge out of place or anything. Alright, and once you have those score lines in, the next part is to do a little bit of cutting. So you will see that you have two little squares on either side there in the middle. And all you want to do is just cut along those score lines you made um, just to separate the little squares from the two rectangles on either side. You'll see what I mean here. And then once you have that little square cut, you're just going to cut at a slight angle um, just to trim down the square pieces a little bit. This just gives the box a nicer finish, makes it easier to put together. And once you have that done on one side, you're going to repeat that step on the other side as well. Alright, and now all that's left to do is assemble our box. So I'm showing you here the three different sections we have. We have a larger rectangular section at the top, a thin rectangular section in the middle, and then another one that's a bit smaller than the one at the top on the bottom. So what you're going to do to put your box together is fold in those square flaps, and then um, you're going to put glue on those, and then you're also going to add glue to the very edge of those bottom rectangular flaps on the side. Don't put um, glue or adhesive on the entire flap. Um, just, I'd say about a quarter inch on the edge there. So you'll see me do that in a minute. Before I glue it all together, I'm just gonna show you how we're going to put the box together. So all you wanna do once you have your glue on is measure up those square flaps to the back rectangular flaps. And once you have that stuck on, you're going to fold the front of the box over and attach those sides 
to the outside of the other ones and that is what your box will look like. So now let's just put it all together. So I'm going to be adding a good amount of glue um, where the glue is needed just so that um, it holds the box together. You want your box to be durable. And you can see there I'm just putting glue on the very outer edge of that um, those flaps at the bottom. And now it's just time to uh, put our box together. So take your time with this, make sure everything lines up perfectly. You might have to play around a bit to get everything just right. So I'm just trying to make my box even here by adjusting both sides whenever it's needed. And then once I have that done, I'm going to use my scoring tool. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can use a bone folder or, um, or a ruler and just um, smooth everything down to make sure that the adhesive is um, stuck together on the paper, that everything's you know going to be held together just fine. And once you have done that, you will see that your box is almost done. It stands up on its own. It's super cute. The last thing to do um, till the base of our box is done is just grab your scissors and we're going to cut from that inner corner to that outer corner. This is just going to give the back of the box like a slight diagonal shape. Um, you know, that typical storage box look. It's gonna make it look clean and tidy and super cute. So take your time doing this, make sure you get, you know, a nice even line. And then just do that on both sides. And now the base of your box is complete. All right, so now I'm just going to show you my finished box once it's all decorated. So you can see here, I went with like a pink, gold, black, and white theme with this one. So I just cut out some Polaroid frames and then backed those with some Project Life cards that I trimmed down. I added a cute little flare that says Happy Day and then some pearls and gems. That wood veneer is from Michaels. I got it on sale and it says cute. And then I added some paper clips just for a bit more flair. And um, I made that flower paper clip and then attached a cute little black tassel to it. And on the back of my box, I just layered some doilies and added a cute gold and white bow just to give it a bit more flair, make it cute, you know, if the stuff that's going to be stored in it is shorter. And now I'll just um, show you some goodies that I'm going to include in this box for my pal. So you can decide. Um, to put whatever goodies you want in this. I like to package them up cute because uh, it just gives everything a nice uh, cleaner look. So the first things I'm going to include for goodies are some paper straws and this cute blue pencil from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm also including this little jar of sequins. I really want to get some um, glass jars with like the, the cork at the top. I think those will be super cute for Happy Mail. I'm also going to be including some Project Life cards, a whole bunch of different tags, different shapes, different colors. I'm also including this craft color um, heart card and envelope so my pal could, you know, make her own little thing with that. I am including this vellum shaker pocket that I made. As well as some wood veneer hearts from the Target Dollar Spot and some uh, paper clips as well. So those are all the little goodies I'm going to include. Um, what I like to do first before I put the goodies in is add some crinkle paper. So I'm just going to use this black and white crinkle paper from the Dollar Tree and just um, add a little bit in there. This stuff is optional. You don't need crinkle paper if you don't want to. I just think um, it adds a little bit of a more fun aspect to it and provides a little bit of padding for the goodies. And once you have your crinkle paper in, all you have to do is arrange your goodies um, in a way that a little bit of them, a little bit of all of them might show once you stack them into your storage box. 
I like to add clips to my goodies just so they kind of poke out and um, it just makes the box look more fun. And that is my finished box, you guys. So um, you'll notice when the goodies are in that it might cover up the back if you decide to decorate the back of the box, but that's fine. Once the goodies are out, um, you'll be able to see that. So this is the finished product. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, um, this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. If you have any questions, leave those down below as well and I will get back to you. I have to give credit to um, the YouTube channel that inspired this box, so I will leave a link to that video down below. Also, if you decide to make this kind of happy mail, I would love to see it, so please tag me at Bambi's Mail on Instagram. Alright you guys, take care and happy crafting. Bye!